Yo, it's time for Weekly Wednesday. This one's going to be a little bit different. It's a behind the scenes one of this music video that I'm shooting. The same music video that I shot about two weeks ago, but we used Dick Smith SD cards and they're super shitty. So uh, we lost everything after about six hours of shooting. So if you work in the industry and you want to use Dick Smith's SD cards, you should not do that. The pre-production we have this shot list. This is the same shot list that we used last time. It's got all my notes and shit on it. And now that's useless because I crossed everything out as we were going and we lost everything. So I have this shot list and I'm going to just cross this off with every shot that I do. And I would also organize a little lighting plan, but last time I had a lighting director there and we sorted it out then and I just remember how we had it set up. So I'm just going to remember how we did it last time and I'm just going to do it exactly the same. So that's as much as I'm doing for pre-production. I am charging my batteries, I am going to clean all my lenses and tomorrow we're going to kick it off and it's going to be what most likely will be a very successful shoot given the fact that we're not using Dick Smith SD cards. Okay, so I have just finished bringing the gear from the apartment downstairs to the car park and so here's all the gear that I need to fit into the car which doesn't seem like a lot until the tracks are involved. The dolly tracks go from right there all the way up to the front window. So if I had a passenger in there they would be remarkably uncomfortable. Anyway, um, in here there's where it starts. And there's where it ends way back down there. So, I'm gonna have a fun time fitting that in the car. It barely fits, I just picked the exact right car for it. But yeah, it's about, about three. So I should be getting there about five-ish. And let's hope for the best. Let's not hope, let's believe that we are going to do a fucking awesome job at this video. Okay, so we're on set now. It's a different set than we were shooting at last time we did it, before we lost all of the footage. This is done in a living room, um, right next to a kitchen. I'm gonna have to try to avoid getting shots of the kitchen there, but it's reasonably spacious. And we're just setting everything up now, so I'll keep filming little update shots as we continue setting up the set. So Eddie, how's it coming along? Good. We got done setting up all the trolleys, the dollies there. Got the reflector and some lights there. Got bouncing off the ceiling. Got two hair lights there that still need to be plugged in. Got the whole van deal set up. And also I've been using Gaff more now than I ever have in my life. Like that's Gaff, that's Gaff, that's Gaff, Gaff, Gaff. If there's a problem that cannot be solved with Gaff, you have a problem that cannot be solved. Okay, so we have everything set up. All the lights are looking snazzy. I'll show you what it all looks like from the camera's perspective. That's what it looks like. It'll look better on the real camera because, you know, lens flares and whatnot. Anyway, um, also I'm shooting with a Samyang 85mm f-stop 1.4 today, which is the first time I've, well, no, second time I've used one, first time I've owned one. Um, and I cannot wait to use it. Anyway, we're set now and we're ready to shoot. So this is going to be rad.
<laughs> Did the toaster just go off? Yeah. Okay, so now we're moving on to editing. Um, I have all of my clips over here in my project window. I've named them all. And I have put the song down here. Um, and I'm just using one video track. I'm just getting things from my source window, dragging them down instead of um, layering each individual uh, video clip because then it just saves a hell of a lot of CPU. I'll give you a sneak preview of the first what, like one and a half seconds? Let's see. And uh, that's what I'm up to now. So yeah, I just started that. I'll give you little updates as the editing progresses. Yep, so all of the clips are lined up here on top of the music. And as you see here, we're done. Well, not we're done, but we're done laying out the um, thing that we were supposed to do just now. So what I'm going to do is let's select all of that. Let's go into my presets. We'll go into, where's my, oh, true. I got a new computer, so I don't have my presets anymore. Let's go ahead and make a custom aspect ratio. Okay, well, not too long later, actually. That only took me like an hour and a half to do, but I have never blown through colouring as fast as I just did. Check this out, that lovely graded footage with the 2.35 to 1 aspect ratio. I ended up getting a 2.35 to 1 anamorphic overlay, which I have not used since I was about 13 because I couldn't find, I couldn't remember how to set a preset, um, like a aspect ratio preset for Premiere Pro. So if you do know how to set an aspect ratio, ratio preset please let me know because I would like to start doing that again so I put a color mat underneath the 2.35 to 1 overlay and then I set the color mat it was a white one to 8% uh, opacity and then I graded everything underneath it accordingly so I kind of crushed the blacks but then I lifted them back up using the uh, white color mat overlay and it's looking really good like if I turn off the uh, if I turn off the overlay then it really gets crushed, it looks bad. But then with that, it brings it out, but it also doesn't bring out a whole lot of detail in the shadows, which is what I want. And then I also throw on a three-way color corrector on the bottom of that, um, so I could add a little bit of blue tinge to the shadows. And then for the 50 millimeter shots, for some reason, my 50 mil has like an annoying amount of dynamic range to it. So I brought the shadows back up to about 50% and then I upped the saturation because the more you condense your color space, the less saturation you get. Anyway, uh, so this is what it looks like at the moment and I'm gonna do a rough export and I'm gonna see what the guys think of it. So we're going pretty well. Okay, so let's have a look at my Dropbox here and Here's the final video. I did three edits of it, and I just sent the third one to the guys, and they liked it. So I exported it again in 1080p, and now it is ready for them to upload. I think they're uploading it on Thursday. Um, anyway, what they've got now is, I'm pretty, yeah, they've got a pre-order for their new EP up now. They're ridiculously talented musicians, awesome dudes, so go and buy the pre-order for their EP because it's going to be fire. And once the music video is up, you can watch the music video in the description. I'll put the link there once it's released. And hope you enjoyed the little behind the scenes. If you are a band and watch this in hopes of finding out a little more about how I do things, you can contact me on my Facebook page, Destructible Cow, Photo and Film. It'll also be a link down there. Or you can email me at ecbfilms001 at gmail.com. So, I'll see you guys next week.